the track all night. It was. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. All right. Seven o'clock. We're back. Worked all day. Side jobs. Trying to make some more money for this and need to buy a house. So, here's where we're at. You guys missed a lot because, like I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, I was kind of getting burnt out with just parts being wrong and this and that, aka wrong radiators. So, yesterday I got the pipe done. Uh, so, this thing was smashed in. This is a stock pipe, bunch of dents. Chris uh, Kinberg, Kinberg, I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, heated up, popped them out, still a little bit, but this thing's going to get hammered anyway. Um, so I got that back, painted it, high heat, um, lots of coats. It's going to get hammered anyway, who cares? And I was going to fire it up, did some, even though these are wrong radiators, I just wanted to run it, fire it, and, uh, doesn't crank over. Figured, what the heck? So, pulled the... Pulled the thing to find out we are hitting on the cylinder head. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Which is weird because it's an Athena jug, Athena cylinder head. It had an Athena jug with a stock cylinder head that you can tell they did some work to, but I just figured, why not match? I had it, yada, yada. Obviously, the domes are different because, you know, go one full rotation, donk, hitting the cylinder head again. So, I just wanted to run it, fire it, make sure it ran. Blah, 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 blah. Not gonna happen. So luckily today, these showed up. The correct radiators for the correct year. Pretty wild concept, but it's necessary. Who'd have thought? So I got those hoses came in from high speed. And yep, now I get to pull all this stuff back off. Which is fine because I forgot to record a lot of stuff for you guys. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna actually eat these ribs. I've been on a diet, but I kind of broke it this weekend after the race. And oh, look at those things. Ah, oh, so good. So, save some. I'm gonna, not supposed to be having sugar, but screw it. And not supposed to be having beer, but screw it. It's been a day. Um, yeah, I gotta drive to California tomorrow for work. So, I'm treating myself just a hair. So yeah, I'm gonna eat these ribs. And then we're going to start banging that out. Um, okay. We're going to start shipping this thing. So. Oy. Do it all again. But that's what I get for not recording and bringing you guys along with me. So. No one's doing laundry right now. So that can go there. Oh. I'm sore. If you guys haven't watched the little race recap blog thing it's the the previous video and my youtube go watch that it's pretty fun see me yelling at a bunch of people see me being very patient with people i shouldn't have been so patient with but it's a lot of fun see me break a lot of stuff <clears throat> let's take the freaking pipe off which i just Sealed up and loctited, but that's okay. Fresh pipe O-rings. Like I said, it was a, a used kind of dinged up pipe, but... Oh, come on. I don't want to take the freaking silence breath. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Trying to break the seal. I don't want to take the silencer off. There we go, it's going. Oh, there we go. Bloop. Oh. Incorrect radiators, which I need to pop the rubber bushings out. That guy drain out. 
pop my clamps off because I like my clamps. Oh, yeah. Got it, but did you see how close he was to Tomek at the end? Like, he picked it up and probably found some lines and was right there and got a third. And, like, he's a guy now, I think. Like, JT was kind of saying, like, do you think Tomek's worried about Aww. OP? Like, Thanks, far, Maggie. Like, the title? Yeah, Tomek's. Okay. Shoop a doop a doop doo boop boo. I need this and I need this. Actually, I can take my stupid racket off now. Okay, so that was my little adapter bracket setup. Not the greatest, but it works. About who's or worked. Because sometimes when you get past, it's it. But these guys, these rare guys, if you watch Deegan, he's that way. Ooh. Um, I feel like Shorter, he's that guy. You look at AP, now he's that guy. Like, I don't care, I'll get back. That's rare. Like, yeah, he's, I, mean, I think he can win again on the dry track. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I oh! Sure. I mean, yeah. I should just pull right out. It is. I'm trying to think of when it was the last time. Not, I, this is real. Jimmy had it, Morocco had it. The old guy. Oh! Okay. So under head time. So that there's the difference right there. Any of the racing avenues, even outdoor MXGP guys and everything. Like yeah, MXGP is all on 48s. All everything 48s. other than um, I'm trying to think. No, Crazy. All right. There was well, like a little bit at we're gonna throw this on. It's already lapped in because, like I said, my dad already did it all. <laughs> Okay, I forgot the cylinder head torque, it's not good. Uh, I don't and I gave the manual back, so, 20, okay, 20. They're big on PRs. I have not gone in as heavy as you agree. I do agree. Yeah. It can't be better. It's, no, no. it's obvious. Yeah, yeah. Where did my socket go? Right there. Yeah. Oof. 20. Do Thanks for having me. Yeah. Dude. All right, let's see. Now we got full. Crazy. Crazy something as small as that. All right. Torque. Good. Still got to measure squish, but I'm not hitting. So if worse comes to worse, we can set it later on. So we're going to get back to this. Yeah. I can't remember what the... Yes, Torch specs were. That's really loud. Um, and, and try Twenty-four. Always torque the nut, not the bolt. Get some radiators going. My clamps. of the coolant. Nice. Okay, so I'll set those in there. I don't know what I'm doing with it. 
I don't know if I'm taking him back somewhere and getting a credit. A, a lot, <clears throat> Who knows? Okay. Let's. So that's going to go there, there. Holy crap, it matches up. Who would have thought? What a concept. And then it'll pull a, a fast hyperactive B kid that wants to rev out. You know, it, it allows that too. So it's a nice blend of an engine. Yeah, I would agree with him. And on chassis, I think it goes down to that light, nimble feel. It really is a. Oh, light, goodness light. gracious, that's tight. That engine only you know, optimizes that. How, um, how do you use the I mean, it's good. It's not going to come off, but that is direct flow. There's going to be no restriction at the the mouth because that's going to be tough to get in. Oopsie. That's right. Fuck him. He kept me awake because he was worried about his concussion. Sissy. Take a concussion like a man. All right. Okay, we're still recording. Yep, we got radiators. So this hose, I don't like it all. I'm gonna change it, but for now, I just wanna ride this thing. Ah, <sighs> the angles are weird. The hose they sent was too short. I don't know, I just used the stock hose there. But we're all connected. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw this pipe back on. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Snipe. Okay. Do do do. Tank. That's better. That's better. Idiot. I know better than a Titan stuff before it's all ready. There we go. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay. Back to where we were earlier, but I have the correct radiators. Shrouds are bolted on. You put the louvers on, but I can pull that back off. I just wanted to make sure everything bolted up. Pipes on, tight, radiators tight. It can technically start right now. What time is it? I don't know where my phone went. Oh, my float's sticking. Dang it. I'll see if I can tap that out. See if I can get it to quit leaking. Funny story, if any of you guys know, William 
Hyatt, one of my best friends ever. Um, he came over, he had an old YZ450. And uh, came over, was leaking. We're like, just, you know, hit your float bowl. We well, grabbed a freaking ball peen hammer. And dang it, come on, man. Damn it, that thing is dumping. All right, let's see what's up. Petcock's leaking, carburetor's leaking, like the needle and seat sticking, but it runs. We'll see where we're at again with a quick kick. Fuel on, that on. I haven't been sleeping much. I was tired. I was in charge of the ATV division, and, and when I moved to Georgia, I give the people what they want. Suzuki built their manufacturing facility in Rome, Georgia, so all the ATVs globally are, are made in Georgia. So that's when I moved here. I really don't want to be doing this. I've been on a diet. I've been doing good. We, we were here for probably ten. I don't know if you guys remember the first video. You know, my kids were doing amazing in school. And Took my shirt off. I looked big. That's what made me start. And I set the suspension to a certain weight. I'm not going to tell you guys. And I need to get there. So that way it works correctly. And if I get that, cool. If I don't, you'll hear me make excuses about how I'm not at the weight that I set the bike up for. My family, they ran around the country. So, all right, let's get it. The new president's like, no, you got to come out and be in California full time. So they gave me a year, and then in that year, just accidentally triumph headlining me. Interesting. Are you more of a delicious guy? Like, yeah, I mean, I grew up like my family. Yeah, my family owned the Yamaha. It run. It's done. Full rating on graphics. Daddy helped me with rear end chain braking. Brand new chain. It's gold. Shiny. And, uh... Yeah, I'm tired of talking about it. So, let's see. I still need a kill switch. <laughs>
Good job. Now we need graphics, and Sean's designing them right now. So. She's naked. I'll, uh, this will probably be the, I'm shaking because I'm happy. <laughs> this will probably be the end of this video. And then I'll do another one once it's done. And we're gonna go racing next weekend. It's Friday right now, the 29th? Yep, it's Thursday. Thursday. So we're gonna go racing on the, the ninth or whatever it is, eighth. So 